Hello. Hey everyone. Welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for being here. So I, y'all, it was snowing today. Okay. Like snowing, snowing. And I was like, you know what? That's not going to stop me. I'm going to Ikea. So first thing in the morning, son and I, we left like around 10 o'clock and I went to Ikea and I bought this, um, I'm going to call it a plant cabinet because that's what I'm going to use it for. And I was just super, super stoked to put this together. Hubby came home from work. I actually texted him and I'm like, look what you get to put together when you come home. <laughs> oh, so hilarious. Anyways, so that is what we're going to do. I am going to be rearranging the front room today and I'm just super excited. I love doing this every, you know, just once in a while. Just give your rooms a new vibe, a new feeling. If you don't like it, you can always change it back. So just remember that if you want to do something to your home and you end up not liking it, you can always, always change it back. So we're going to get this cabinet together. Son was just such a big helper. Y'all, he loves, loves building stuff. Like as soon as um, I told him, I was like, are you ready to build? He's like, yeah, yeah. He went and got his little drill and we were just doing the daggone thing. And he was just having himself a ball. He was helping me pick up the trash and everything. So let's go ahead and jump into the video and get this cabinet built. I moved these plant stands. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm just gonna be moving things around and just having fun. And um, I went ahead and textured these walls. So I had the, you know, the little plant clips that I buy from the Dollar Tree. I'm so ridiculous. I ended up like ripping them off the wall. Like I, I did it really hard. Don't do that because it will rip the texture off of your wall. But I just used some of that um, texture spray in a can stuff on here. And I let this dry really, really well. So this dried for like two days. So I just took a, a sandpaper and I went over it really lightly. What I've learned from in the past, all of our walls are textured in the house. And so I've actually done this in the bathroom upstairs with our towel hooks. And if, if I sand it too much, there won't be any texture left and it'll be flat and it won't blend into the wall. So I was just like lightly, lightly sanding this and going over it and still leaving some texture. That way it will blend seamlessly. And so I just ended up vacuum up, vacuuming up all of the little dusties here. And then you will see me go back and paint over this. And I just obviously painted it the same color, but you'll see like when I paint it, I, I, it kind of looks like it's not the same color, but it did. Like once it dried and everything, it dried the same color and it blended in seamlessly. Like I was super happy with the way that it came out. 
here this is the corner of the wall that the window the large large window is on and I just touched this up here when I painted the left side of the wall kind of like a darker gray there were a couple of like little splotches that I wanted to go back and touched up and touched up <laughs> and touch up so that's exactly what I did so we we just put some felt pads on the bottom of the cabinet you know obviously so that it could glide a lot easier and y'all remember the the little rubber felt pads that i got for the dining room don't buy those so two of them have already ripped um such a bummer and kind of like a ripoff so don't buy those little those little rubber like peg leg um felt covers from amazon they are not good <laughs> Anyways, so this is the part that we were the most nervous about, y'all. On the instructions, it says that, so you have to, the top part of the glass, you have to get it in the little wedge, right? There's like this little um, rubber part that goes across the very top of it. And then on the very bottom where I was, there's like two little notches on each corner, right? On each side of the glass. And you have to back the glass in to go over the notches. And then you have to screw everything in. So they, there's like warning all over the instruction that says that like, if you don't do it that way, it, the glass will easily shatter. And so we were just like super nervous. Um, I was, you know, obviously holding the glass and then on the bottom because I couldn't get them over like the two little ridges and hubby was like, okay, let me just, um, kind of like loosen up the screws on top, which is like what we should have done in the beginning. We did leave it, um, kind of loose so that we can get the remaining of the glass in. But this was like, we were like sweating I was just like oh my goodness oh my goodness so and we had to do like the entire cabinet is glass so it was just kind of nerve-wracking but we got it done I would definitely recommend if you are going to get this so this cabinet we got from Ikeo Ikeo Ikea it's the Millsboro I'll, I'll leave it on the screen at the Millsboro, Millsboro, I don't, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'll, I'll put it on the screen, the name of it and everything and the price right now it is on sale. It, it was kind of expensive. Um, to be honest, I think it was like $230. Um, but it's originally like 280. So if you're, if you're interested in this, you, you can use this for so many things. Like it's basically a display cabinet. So a lot of people, um, transfer this to like a greenhouse. And I did think about doing that. But the cons for the greenhouse is that, um, I mean, this isn't really a con, but you have to seal everything off. So all of the edges, obviously, to keep the humidity in, you can buy like some of that peel and stick sealant, um, the sticky sealant from Amazon, or you can actually use just like regular caulking, like the clear caulking. I've seen people do that. And then you do have to put a fan in here. 
and keep the fan running, you know, to, to have to regulate airflow and everything. Um, I decided against that because I kind of looked, weighed the pros and cons of that. And I'm not trying to like run up our energy bill. <laughs> okay. So I was just, I just really love this cabinet. I want to display my plants in it and I'm going to put it by a window so that I can get some light. I did end up buying some LED lights as well. So you will see that in the video. And I'll, I'll tell you guys like the cost and everything um, with that. But there's just, this cabinet is just so versatile. I think it's so beautiful. It's very um, simple and minimal, which I like. And um, it's cute. And so, yeah, I'm just, I was super excited to get this. So this is what I picked up. I picked up these little LED like um, spotlights. Those were $2.79, $2.79. And then I picked up this larger LED light, which was $19.99. So initially I was like, okay, I'm just going to um, do, I had these rubber strippings, um, sticky strippings from the, what is it? The TV, the wire coverings. This is, um, it's, this is the rubber stripping from that. So I was like, let me go ahead and put a couple of these on it and just stick it to the top. Well, after I did this, I thought it through and I was like, no, this isn't going to work because this one is actually battery operated. Like I said, y'all, I wasn't trying to run up like the energy bill. <laughs> okay. Like you do what's best for you. I mean, yeah, you're going to have to use, um, you know, filter through some batteries, but I picked that option instead of like constantly keeping this plugged in. So after I put the stripping on, I was like, I'm not going to be able to change out the batteries. Like I'm going to have to pull this thing off of the cabinet. Like every time I switch out the batteries and that's going to make the stickiness go away. So then I was like, okay, I had some of this Velcro stripping. And I was like, let me go ahead and put this on top, you know, because then, so then that way, when I need to change out the batteries, I can just, you know, detach it from the Velcro and that'll be done. Well, this ended up falling off. So I got everything done. You'll see later on in the video, I actually went back and, um, and finished doing some, you know, cleaning and chores and things like that. Um, after like later on in the night and in the middle of the night, y'all, I heard something and I like, I woke up, I was like, I just heard a noise and he's like, what was it? I was like, I don't know. It sounded like a rack or something fell. So he came downstairs and he looked everywhere. He's like, I don't see anything the next morning. This is what it was. So this ended up falling, but the solution that I came up with, I'm going to show y'all, I stuck it to the cabinet and this is just like perfect. It's going to be, um, really perfect for like shedding putting some light on the plants like maybe during like the daytime and you know well like the morning time and then during the afternoon I can just shut it off you know this right here um I'm showing y'all this is like how the room was looking it was looking way too crowded like I, I didn't like the way that this looked so I like I said this was later on in the night um I watched the Nuggets game I really wanted to watch that unfortunately we lost but we are going to be back at home on Monday so I'm hoping I really wanted them to sweep the Lakers but it didn't happen it'll it'll happen though we're gonna win so I watched that and then I got a good workout in and then I showered and then I came back down here but like I said going back to the light the solution that I'm going to do I think I'm gonna order some magnets I think that will work a lot better so maybe order some magnets from Amazon and then just attach the light with some magnets and hopefully that will hold a lot better we get down to the beat y'all
baby, one day I'm hoping that you will be mine. Turn my life around. Wow. So when. when you're doing things I promise every time I'm like it depends on the task but I y'all be talking to myself and I do not care I'm like okay I have this here so what can I move next is this gonna look here let's go ahead and try that and then maybe I could put this over here and yada yada I was just I was in my little zone I was talking to myself and I was just just getting it done but I absolutely love doing things like this I love decorating and home decor and just making your space you know something that makes you feel good and that you're comfortable in and that you love so I just thought that was funny but Y'all, I, I don't know if you guys saw my short, but I found Monstera Thai Constellations for $25 at Kroger, and I was like super, super stoked. I could not believe it. I have heard through the grapevine that they were going to start selling these for cheaper. Um, the plant, like the plant community is like... Plants are like the same, like anything else, you know, fashion, video games, things like that. Like people get super hype when like a new plant comes out or a new like variety or version of a plant comes out and it be, it's very, very expensive when it first comes out. And then after like the hype kind of dies down, you know, you can find them a little bit cheaper. When I was moving this, <laughs> the glass was like making noise and hubby and son were upstairs sleeping. So I was like, don't make any noise. But um, anyways, yeah, so I have been hurt, like hearing that, you know, you were going to be able to, people were going to be able to find Monstera Thai constellations for a lot cheaper because, um, you know, that the hypeness of the plant is kind of like dying down. It's just like any of like, I remember when the philodendron micans was like so, so expensive and everyone was trying to get their hands on it, just like the pink princess philodendron. Um, I'm super late on buying like, you know, popular plants and everything, but that's okay, y'all. Like I'm not about to spend, you know, several hundred dollars on a plant like no I'm just I'm not gonna do that so when I found those for 25 bucks I was like heck yes and I'm just so so excited to watch them grow so you'll see my excitement right here I started putting some plants in the cabinet and I was like oh my goodness <laughs> I tried picking up the ones that I saw with the most variegation and so I was just having fun I was putting the plants in my little cabinet I ended up switching some things around the next morning 
but this was just like my initial thought process and as you can see like the led light was still up here so i was like i wanted to put all of these on the top so that they can get you know the most sunlight obviously i don't want them to die um i ended up putting my variegated burl marks in here and then i also put it in put in my variegated um syngonium this one is so beautiful look at this um, it was only two leaves that last leaf on the very bottom actually just um, unfurled and I put these in I put um, a couple saucers on these as well so that I could just water them really easily I actually bottom water them but I was just having myself a good old ball and then look at this pink princess philodendron this is probably my most variegated one and it doesn't look that great honestly I don't know what is going on with it but I've tried treating it and everything and just like you know just trying to keep it alive so I started moving around the plant stands and at first I was like okay let me put these here I put a you know a plant on and I was like okay I didn't end up liking that but I was just switching things around you know um seeing how I liked it feeling it out and uh yeah just doing the daggone thing and having fun I'm buzzing let's drink up your death look like big fun come on let's get it on like that orphan gay song I'm something you love it come on give something i know that you want it come on give me something the night is young and so are we so maybe you should leave with me the night is young and so are we baby the night is young so let's have some fun if you love So it was the next morning and I just wanted to finish up with a couple of, you know, I got some some more cleaning done. So I did end up behind me where the stairs are. I mopped there and then I also obviously vacuumed the carpet and just vacuumed up a little bit more like dusties that were going on. And I just, I am liking the way that it's looking now, you know, I do want to, like, I love this room and I love my plants and I love having like a lot of plants, but I also don't like things to be like super overcrowded. Like if that makes sense. Um, I, I like to have, 
I don't even know how to, if you even understand what I'm saying. Like I like for it to be planty, but also like open and airy and not stuffy and like overcrowded, if that makes sense. I know everybody's style and everything is super different. And um, I know a lot of plant people like plant channels that I watch have like, you know, a lot of plants and everything, but everyone's style is different. Here's how it turned out. All right, so here is the room. I'll just do a quick overview. This is the wall here, plenty of sun. And then let's pan around here. This is kind of like the seating area and I'll do a little close up also. That's what this is looking like. And then I am loving this. The little plant cabinet. And then I put the other taller plants here. So just a wider view. I'm loving this. So I'm really happy. Let's go downstairs. I still have room for some more plants, <laughs> which is always a plus, right? But this, I did have this, as I've said, um, on this window before, and it just gets so much good light, morning light. So I think this will be really good. And then I ended up just putting, using these two plant stands over here in the corner. So I got a PPP Pink Princess Philodendron on one and then my Manjulo Pothos on the other. And this is what the little cabinet area is looking like. Unfortunately, the light did fall down. So I think what we're gonna do is order some magnets and pin it up with some magnets but for now i'm gonna see how these monstera ties do just with the sun this does get some morning sun i mean not as more, much as the bigger window but the afternoon it definitely does get a lot of sun in this area so i think these will do fine here and yeah i still have you know there's still plenty of room it's not it doesn't look overcrowded and i'm just really loving this so thank you all so much for being here and i will definitely see you on the next one i will see you soon bye